win, 12 to three, which is now pushed. That'll pick up three points. That'll push Appalachian State's lead to double digits, 10 and a half points uh, as we go into well, they got one more wrestler, so they're definitely going to have a double-digit lead going into the finals tonight. Very nice takedown on Matt, too, by Jaquan Anderson. Going up against Caleb Rowe. All right, these are the last three matches of the Constellation Finals. Lucas... Uliano of Appalachian State gets a takedown early in the first period to go up three to nothing over Braxton Lewis of VMI. Unofficial points just coming in. App still at 92. Campbell bumped up to 84.5. So cut into that a little bit, but you think that would grow a little bit more in App's favor. Chattanooga 53 and a half, Gardner Webb 44 and a half. Again, these are unofficial tallies. Citadel 42 and a half. So continues not just to be tight one to two, three, four, and five. Not a big gap there either. No, not at all. Um, Chattanooga has done pretty well for themselves in this round, picking up bonus point wins um, by both, both of their wrestlers. Uh, Cameron Monroe at 165 and Lincoln Heck at 157. Jackson Lewis was able to get an escape. Uliano in deep on a double. Goes through the elevator roll and gets another takedown. So Uliano is now up six to one, about a minute to go in the first period. Again, that's huge for the team race. nothing in the second period over Rowe from Presbyterian. How does the atmosphere change in your perspective once it gets to the finals as far as, why not, not just what it's like for the wrestlers, but for the coaches, for the fans, for everybody? What, what's different about it to you? It, it's, it, there's always a heightened excitement level. Um, you know, it, winning the title, winning the individual title, it's, that's a big deal. You just, you just want a, a conference title in a college conference. Um, you know, that in and of itself is, is you know, a pretty tremendous accomplishment. Um, you know, while there's only eight teams here, eight-man brackets, you know, how many how many people are on these rosters? You know, right. it, it doesn't mean you're, you're one of eight. It means you're one of, you know, 16 to 24 um, in, in, in the conference. Um, in, a, in a tough sport in a Division One college uh, tournament. Uh, but then you add in the extra to that as well. Um, you just extended your season by two weeks. Uh, you've now punched your ticket to go to nationals. So, so this, you know, for, for some of these kids, that's what the expectation is. They're, they're returning to nationals for the second, third, maybe even fourth year. But for some of these kids, it's a lifelong dream that's just been accomplished. Uh, and so, um, you know, that, that excitement level uh, of everything is, is just heightened across the board. Um, the crowd will be bigger, uh, and there's only one match. So... Uh, you know, everybody's focused on a match. So when you hear the big scream, you know exactly what it's for. Mm -hmm. it, it's just this one mat. Uh, everything else will be picked up. In the third period, Anderson's now up 7 nothing with over two minutes of riding time. We have our traditional 1-0 score at heavyweight in the second period. Ben Stamet is up 1-0. Jake Fernicola of Davidson has probably about 15 to 20 seconds of riding time. Anderson leaving no doubt here in this, this match. Now up 10 to nothing with over two minutes of riding time. Jake Uliano with a three-point lead over 
Braxton Lewis. Lewis kind of comes out of that bad position and improves it a little bit. I don't know if he's quite in position to get a takedown from there, but he definitely got himself in a better position to where he wasn't going to give one up. Finals on the way. Not sure of an exact time on that yet. Originally listed at 7 o'clock. We'll see what our start time ends up being. Great crowd here at the home center. This tournament, this championship has been a number of locations over the years. Already seen some really high level action. And I have a feeling maybe the best is still on the way. There will definitely be some high-level moments ahead of us. The last 30 seconds here for Jaquan Anderson. 10-0 lead, three minutes of riding time. Looking to get that major decision. Juliano will go into the second or third period up six to three. He's gonna choose bottom. Nicola takes down as he goes into the third period over there on that three, down one nothing to Ben Cement in the Citadel. So a lot of forward pressure, chopping the arm out. For Nicola gets to his feet, he's gonna attack the hands, try to get separation. And Uliano gets the pin. So not only does he get the two points, but then he gets the two bonus points for the pin as well. Apple able to grow their lead a little bit more because of that. Really won it going away last year. So just left with the heavyweights over on mat three. See what comes of that. 1-1 one, one with a minute 15 in the